this is Ginger from Empowered Body Club, and I'm here with Bill today. He is an old patient of mine from Seattle, and welcome, Bill. Thank you, Ginger. So back in the day when you came into my office, we were doing some treatment, some manual therapy, some acupuncture mostly for your you know, aches and pains that you experienced as you know, an athlete, as a guy that's active. And we also did some nutrition just to help guide you towards a healthier lifestyle in general. And then I remember one day you came into my office and you were completely distraught. And we sat down and we had a conversation and you were sharing with me that you were going through some stressful times in your family and that you were having some sleep issues. And that's when we started with the herbal protocol. Um, share with us a little bit more about how that was for you, how your sleep was at that time and what you had tried to remedy that. Sure. As uh, Ginger mentioned, I know her uh, since about 2018, was first uh, through acupuncturist to do maintenance, right? So later she got me to a nutrition, which was excellent. I really lost a lot of weight over time. I was being in a decent shape, but I really fine-tuned it and helped me with energy and everything else. So I gained a lot of trust on her advice. And as she mentioned, uh, one day I show up in distress. So my grandmother uh, had passed away and she was extremely important in, in my life. So my actually my uncle died about three weeks before and then uh, there was too much sadness for her. She passed away and uh, it was a lot of sadness for me as well. And usually I don't have problem sleeping. I usually sleep eight to ten hours. You know, I eat well, I sleep well, I meditate. So I tried to be balanced, but that really took my balance away in the way that I have never experienced before. I could not sleep for an entire 30 days. It was amazing. It was exactly 30 days. I was sleeping two, three hours per day. I would go to bed normal time and I'll be sleeping in bed and be really kind of anxious and, and moving around in my body ache a lot so much that I had one of those massage balls and they'll put so much pressure on my lumbar and my back against the wall that I made a hole in the drywall as much pressure I was putting and nothing was working and I went to the hospital my wife said you gotta go to the hospital and I am an executive in a company so I have right a lot of responsibility a lot of stress and it was amazing that I was able to kind of function while doing this. So I went to the hospital first because my wife was insisting. So I went there and they gave me, I don't remember some time of medicine, so try for two, three days. Really at the beginning, nothing happened. My body 100% rejected. Went back there again. They gave me something stronger. And then you have side effects. You become groggy. And three, I said, no, I don't like this. So I said, you know, I'm, I'm just going to ask Ginger. Uh, I need a light. And I knew about the Chinese herbs before, but uh, I never, you know, it was interesting the sense that I was, but it's, uh, as we discussed, it's uh, the time, it's an investment in your health, but it can be sizable, but you need to use for special occasions. That's how I was seeing was not in need. So I went there at that time, it was one of the biggest surprises transformations in my life it really in three days i went completely from night to day i was calm peaceful sleeping super well it was it's hard to describe how important transformational and effective that's that surprised me how effective and how fast it was effective and after that, I, I enjoyed it so much that I kept another, what, four, six months or so uh, using the herbs, uh, maybe not even needing so much. And, you know, gradually, uh, I remember you took it down, the dosage. Uh, so it's not a, uh, it's incremental, not a, a big change. But it, it was extremely, extremely helpful. So uh, and said, Ginger will be in my heart for the rest of my life because wow. uh, 
the help that yes, yeah, you really provide when I needed the most. It, and this clean is natural, so it's is it's not a drug that treats the side effect. It goes on the root cause. So I couldn't endorse you more, Ginger. I appreciate that, Bill. That means a lot uh, to me. I remember you popping into into my office after I had prescribed you the herbs initially, like you know, before your next appointment. And you were like, oh my gosh, Ginger, what did you give me? Can I have more of that? <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> but um, I want to take a step, step back and talk about what they had given you at the hospital. I think they had given you meds. Well, they had given you IV. Is that correct? No, but they gave me, they went kind of, I wouldn't say incremental on the meds. Some of the yeah. exponential. I remember the last one was one of those oxy, that stuff that's highly yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. black. And it made me super groggy, you know, and I couldn't even drive. I said, oh, hoo, hoo, no and way. did you sleep and at all from taking? No, I think one no, of the pills that no. you had taken, as I remember, was Ambien. Yeah, that was, I guess, the second one that they, yeah. they tried. Didn't, did nothing to me. Yeah. None of them did nothing in terms yeah. of getting hours of sleep. They, they didn't knock me out. And I combined, yeah, nothing. Yeah. And also, I think that, so we went after your heart, we went after the liver, we went after the uh, stress hormones, we went after the gut, we cleared some of the biofilms in the gut, and that is really what went, what went after it, what got to the root cause of it. And we also did a little bit of nutrition changes, is that correct? Yes, actually up to the day, I still use uh, greens first. Awesome, one of my recommendations, I love it. Uh huh. Yeah. Super, super. And I kept, and I remember we work on the macro and then fine tune it. Yeah. Uh, and was very, very effective. And I carry that kind of mentality up to the day. And I think I've never been healthier in my life. Yeah, super. Uh, actually, the, the other thing that I believe is really important to say is that before, through genetics and eating habits, I had the only thing kind of medicine that I ever had taken was uh, for cholesterol, uh, one of the studies, right, uh, at the lowest dosage. But after learning how to eat better with you, and I believe also the herbs help you to stabilize, then I was out of the, the medicine. I never had to go back. And actually last year, I did a new test for life insurance. I said, look, I'm super healthy now. I'm not taking any medicines. I'm, my weight is good. Everything, it's super balanced. And I did. And I got the highest highest uh, level of, uh, you know, the premium rate when you don't have any medicine. So, uh, I love it. So yeah. That can be something that I leave for my kids. So that's how important that is in all your life in the present, but also in, in general, but also the fruits that you can harvest in the future, right? How, how it impacts the life of the impact that's, that's say, through the life insurance and everything. Absolutely. You know, kids, they watch us. And, you know, as a parent, we lead kids into, you know, the future, right? So with the tools that you have, you can absolutely lead your kids into a healthy future because we all know that health is the first wealth. And, um, you know, the, view, the way I see Western medicine versus Eastern medicine is that Western medicine is the battlefield medicine. You might need uh -huh. to be saved from, you know, bleeding to death from an infection. You might benefit from getting a surgery. However, if it's not, you know, emergency medicine, then making the lifestyle changes that might, might be a little bit harder to make, such as nutrition, such as, you know, staying active like you do, such as getting the sleep that we need and managing our stress. Those are the four pillars that can literally change our health, you know, and those are the only mm -hmm. four things that we really have access to. And I mm -hmm. think you're doing an excellent job. And hence, you know, mm -hmm. the life insurance is a benefit of that. Awesome. Yeah. I remember in your office, the picture there, a lot of people uh, spend their health gaining their wealth just to spend all their wealth trying to gain back their health. Uh, Which is a hard thing to do, right? Because exactly. some of the richest billionaires in the world, they can't, you know, all the money in the world won't buy back their health. So it's You're swimming against the current. 
Yeah, exactly. And, and it's funny you mentioned about the kids because at the beginning they were, oh, here comes daddy and uh, with his new diet. So this is not a diet. I'm changing my eating behavior. So the first few weeks, they, they mocked me, especially the youngest. He was about seven at the time. But now, you know, we all eat the same. A lot more greens. We cut. We were rats in terms of cheese. We reduced it by 90%, 95%, including the kids. Uh, we eat a lot more colorful veggies together, not just one color or just spread it. They join that behavior, and so it can see the benefits right there, right now. So I love to hear um, it. I, I love to I'm hear it. I'm proud that they're eating. They're really good. They don't drink soda. They uh, they see. like the healthy eating. And yes, because as you mentioned, they look up, right? So yep. if if I walk the talk, is different than if I just talk the talk. Exactly. You know, we play such an important role in kids' lives that. We don't realize that because, you know, they don't, they copy us. They don't mm -hmm. listen to exactly what it is that we say, but they watch us and they observe us and then they just copy us, right? Monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to share your story with me and with the world and with patients who may need to be inspired because, you know, what I do is not conventional. It's very, very different. And um, it takes something to have the courage yeah. to take it in that direction, you know? Yeah. So, well, my it. pleasure to be here. Uh, Ginger, as I mentioned before, too, the thing that really that differentiates you, for me, there is two things. Well, some stuff comes with the territory, right? You're very knowledgeable. But compare, you're knowledgeable in a lot of topics, which not everybody, usually people in nutrition will be just that. You know a lot about a lot of topics. And anyone that can look at your website, look, see your story, is going to see how amazing uh, and how uh, flexible, adaptable, adaptable and persistent you are. One thing that caught my attention a lot is you're like a therapist. When you're talking to your patients, it's not that kind of just, it's not a transaction. It's more like a relationship. So uh, you're really good at, at, in the therapy side. That alone without results, it's helpful, but not much. And that's the thing. You're super, super effective uh, in terms of the acupuncture, the nutrition, or the Chinese herbs, especially in the case of Chinese herbs. The transformation was so amazing. So and I'm here because usually I don't do this, but it's hard, hard, hard to find people like you that is so great in so many areas. So I'm honored actually to have known you and you were there to really save me when it was really a tough moment with my, my grandmother and impact me more than I expected. You put me right back on the game soon. So kudos to thank you. you thank you thank you so much for your kind words that means a lot to okay. me and thank you for allowing me to be part of your journey bill appreciate it all right thank you